Hi, my name is Kanan Bashir. I'm from Syria. I'm from a small village called Safita. I'm a sophomore studying molecular biology pre-med. I'm John Courage. I'm a second year at UCLA and I was born and raised in Louisiana, but I come from Beshmazine, Lebanon, or Amman, Jordan, depending on which side of my family you look at. Hi, my name is Yezan Aliyan. I'm a first year freshman. Um, I've been born and raised in Berkeley, but my parents are from Palestine, so I'm of Palestinian descent. What's up, everybody? My name is John Dabini. Uh, I'm the, part of the recruitment chair. Um, I was born here in California, but my parents were born in um, Amman, Jordan, so I'm 100% Jordanian. My name is Jodad Bustrawi. My father is from Dahran, Saudi Arabia. My mother is from Damascus, Syria. I am from Rancho Cucamonga, California, but uh, ethnically I'm uh, half Lebanese, half Palestinian. My name is Abdullah Baras, and I'm from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The reason I joined this frat was because I was compelled by one of my friends to show up. Um, I thought it was my duty as an Arab to show up to the first Arab frat in the nation. Um, I didn't know it was going to be like a group of amazing, like fun, chill guys. Um, I'm now proud to call them my brothers and I'm proud to be part of this uh, fraternity. This is the first time I come to the United States after I got accepted into UCLA. I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know anyone here on campus and I felt excluded, I, I, I felt homesick. So I tried approaching some of the organizations on campus, the Arab organizations, not to name any, but none of them offered me what I wanted. I wanted to feel like home, away from home. And, and even though home right now doesn't seem so homey, especially in Syria, where the country is split, I wanted to feel like, a, uh, like I'm in a united organization, and not, some, not an organization that focuses on one group or on one religious, or uh, one religion, or on one political argument. I joined it because I saw it as a, a group where I would individually get to meet with different Arabs without having the pressure of a large group such as the other ones out on campus. It was definitely intriguing to me to be a founder of such a society because I saw it as a growing experience rather than just something to do with my time. In the future, I envision BDA as being a testament to the Arab standard and Arab principles that have yielded successes and breakthroughs over many years. Uh, being a part of a group where there's uh, a big brotherhood and there's a solid friendship connection is really refreshing for me. And um, just being part of something more um, that will last past um, after I graduate. That'll be, you know, it's really good for me too. I'm here to witness the beginnings of the 21st century era of the Arab world. Us as Arabs have had some, one of the greatest histories on this earth, and I believe us being the first Arab fraternity in the United States is a testament to how we can just set standards and breach barriers like any, any great leader on campus. Uh, what we aim to achieve at Beta Delta Alpha is not only just to provide Arab men on campus here at UCLA a true sense of tight-knit brotherhood, but also to change the negative stereotypes um, here in the United States about Arabs. We want to show everyone around here in our immediate community and abroad that Arabs have the leadership skills, they participate in community service, they care about people around them, among others. Well, the Brotherhood of Distinguished Arabs is just, it's just a great organization. It brings together just many people and different kinds of people at UCLA, but they all have a common bond and a common shared, like, we're all have an interest in the Arab culture. And there's no politics involved. It's a secular organization. We, we allow for just bonding in some of the most simple ways. We allow for people to explore themselves. I think an important thing about BDA that I really like is that um, it's open to non-Arabs as well. And for me, personally, since I'm Pakistani, I'm not Arab, um, it's been good for me because I've, I've expanded my cultural awareness and um, I've gotten to see a different group of people and, and really kind of broaden my horizons. Um, but it's also an opportunity for me to share my own culture with other people. And for the most part, you know, everyone in the 
Everyone that I've met has been very accepting, very open. And so I think that, uh, you know, for any non-Arabs out there, um, BD is a great opportunity to learn another culture, learn another people or history or whatever. Uh, we, we, we are starting something no one else in the whole world, literally in the whole world, has ever started. We're starting the first Arab fraternity in the nation. And, and for us as a, as, as a group of people, I see that as something fantastic, something great to be something a part of, is something new. You know, it's something that we, we, we already have several chapters that want to open up around, and that's just something crazy. It's, it's, it's like we, we are pioneering something that is going to explode. It's going to expand across states. It's going to expand to multiple places. You know, you're always, always going to be investing in Arab culture. I, I, I lived all my life in an Arab country, and I feel I've learned more from this attorney in the past two quarters about Arab culture than I have my whole life in Qatar. Where we're, we're always investing in, in sports events, we're always being sporty, we're active, you know, we're, we're always meeting new people, whether it's guys, whether it's girls, it's, it's, it's just a social thing for me. And I, and I love it, and for me to be socializing from an Arab perspective, it's, it's just a new perspective I haven't seen before. And that's why.